Hello everyone, welcome back to The Witness. Last time we, I think, did uh, a bunch of work with light and shadows up in those trees over there and then headed over in this direction and opened up this giant warehouse. So let's see what we can do in here. That piece of curved light at the bottom there seems suspicious. Is this just another door? It is. We could have walked around the outside, but you know, never mind. Right, we've got a ledge, more statues of people, another, another door, yes. Right, we've definitely been up here before, haven't we? Yes. Still couldn't get that to go all the way down, but there must be a way, I'm sure. Let's keep with the inside of this warehouse for now. Right, that's not on. That's on. Right, this has three dots, three lobes. But the black dots... Oh, this... Hold on. All right, that is not a screen to learn lessons from, apparently. This looks like a screen to learn lessons from. Why did that work? So, what if we do this? That doesn't work either, but this does work. Why does that work? Two sides touching this thing. What if we have three sides and three dots? No. Two sides. And two dots. No. Two sides and three dots. No. What is happening? That works. Are we ignoring all the dots? That one goes white, the other three flash red. What is happening? Now it's all red. I do not understand what rules are at play here at all, which could not be good for me. Given that there's a bunch of other place to work through here, apparently. So, here, we're not touching the black dot. We are doing two sides of this trilobed thing. That works. We're not touching the black dots. We're touching two sides of the trilobed thing. It does not work. That doesn't work. That does work. Do we have to match... Is it one... Trilobe for one spare dot. Is that is it that simple? It might be that simple. Not that simple. Do they need to be in the same space together? Yes? Question mark. This doesn't have any trilobe symbols. So that's normal. But I need just one... 
not touching. Okay. We're getting there by the power of deduction. This is elevator up and down. I remember that one. Yes, elevator, you're very loud. Alright, we get up to here. There's a pit of gravel. More secrets that need a special angle. Bird statues. Just the top of an archway of a door. Uh, this is going to let me change those two things manually if I want to, I guess. Because I might want to uh, bring that down and that up to do something in there. So, I'm not going to get... Hold on. I do... This... Then rush over. Is this going to work? Come on. Come on. Come on. That is going to work. What if I do that? And then that one goes up. Can I catch the line as it travels? Then I just have to wait for it to get to the top. Now, if you could please be quiet forever, I'd really appreciate that. There's a tape there. And I don't know what that is. Can I? What is divine in man is elusive and impalpable. And he is easily tempted to embody it in a concrete form. A church, a country, a social system, a leader so that you may realize it with less effort and serve it with more profit. Yet, the attempt to externalize the kingdom of heaven in a temporal shape must end in disaster. It cannot be created by charters or constitutions, nor established by arms. Those who seek for it alone will reach it together, and those who seek it in company will perish by themselves. Not sure what to make. 1944. Not sure what to make of that. So I think these little trilobe symbols mean that you must make exactly one mistake. In the region of the lobe. So that seems reasonably understandable. So I want one green to be in the group, but only one, right? So that's on the outside, that's on the outside, that's two. What if I could do one red instead? Mm 
No? Green, 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 green. No, that doesn't work out, does it? All right, where can I put one of the wrong color in with the mixed group and this symbol? It was going so smoothly. Green on the outside. Green on the outside, red on the outside. No. Should I do one red with all the rest green? Not that, is it? You're stumping me, game. Tricking me with rules that then become no longer rules. about that? Yes. One off color amongst all the other color. One, we do one red with all the green. I guess we must encapsulate that red, right? Where can we separate a single color? We have to have this red on one side of our line. That's two reds. And the green's on the wrong part. Can't do this. Two greens inside the line. Come on, brain. You can do this. Two red, one green. I really just want to figure out a way to bifurcate the colors first, because that's all I really need to find. Almost bifurcate the colors, and the rest is gravy. So that's one error, but it's on the wrong side of the line. Feels closer. Those four reds are outside. That red's outside. Then we've got one green on the wrong side of the line, right? No, I've gone completely cross-eyed on that. Not sure that one even goes anywhere. Let's go check out that little hut on the other side of the river here. Got some fresh eyeballs. Right, 
There's a puzzle up there, but I can't be up there right now, it seems. I don't know what the stars mean or the Tetris pieces. So that doesn't help. That is a picture of a boat. Hello, boat. So now we have access to all parts of the island, so we can see, I think, oh, excuse you. I think we started in this lower left corner, came that way, and now we're somewhere around the quarry, I think. But let's not worry of ourselves with that for a minute. We've got plenty of other stuff to be worrying about, I'm sure. Question becomes, would I ever be intended to do this puzzle from down here? We've got a line of three, a line of three, a line of two. And we must make one error. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. All right, then. So this is clearly a bit of a bust for me. What else is in these woods? We were doing a load of stuff with light last time, weren't we? With all this green stuff. Did this split somewhere along the line? Like here? We did that. And this way. We have this. Is this the opposite? Is this instead of find the gaps, follow the line of the shadows? Except it's gotten a bit abstract. Where are you going, green line? Where are you taking me? Right here. So, following what we're given, it looks like there's only one way to go. Um, not sure what to make of this. Quite yet. That looks very deliberate, doesn't it? How did I intuit that? I really am not sure. This seems too obvious. Because there's a break there. Am I supposed to do that instead? Cheeky. The sound of something opening somewhere? Did those? Did that? What sound was I hearing? Oh, it was the other side of this gate. And now we have access to all of this. So it was right hand side we work in the light. And then we work in the shadows. And then we work in the light. And then we work in the shadows. We've got another yellow box. Happy, chunky yellow box. Where is the top of the mountain from here? Can't see past all these trees. Oh, it's up there. Okay. And there's some kind of giant walled garden over here. And as much as I remember some parts of this game, other parts of it are a complete mystery. How am I getting in there? No doors, no gates? 
Doesn't seem so. We can run through some parts of the foliage, but not all of it. This gate is most certainly closed. Probably a shortcut from the other side once we've discovered it. Let's see what we can do about that, shall we? There's laser number two, I guess. Is there anything hiding behind here? Does not seem to be. Right, do you have like a grand entrance? I'd say that's a pretty grand entrance. I feel like we keep managing to miss whole swaths of level by getting from one location to the next. What is this pond? When was this here? I can't see the windmill from here, so it's not that. I don't see any lines for secrets in the water. All right, let's go to this giant castle then. Everyone loves a giant castle. Better than the tiny castle we started in. Secret dark passages or anything? No? All right, then. Hedge mazes, huh? I want that line. Can't follow it. There's a puzzle over there. In here. Can't see. Unless this is like an actual maze to be walked through in a way that can be solved. What do we do? Something like this? How did we get here? Right, we came in immediate left. First, second, third right. And then chicane to the opposite side. Immediate left, first, second, third right, chicane to the opposite side. Unless it's that chicane. Interesting. Okay. This just gets us back to the main entryway. So here, starting in the bottom left corner. We have free access to everything. All right, what's different? Grass. Short grass, long grass. Around the bottom right and a bump. The map's here. Uh, around the bottom right and a bump. All right, that works. Towers. Things for shooting arrows out of. That is... Way more like a person than I feel comfortable with. Anything hiding out this way? No, just a, a pretty view, I guess. All right, then. Let's mosey over to the other side just to check. Sign of an old fire. No, I don't see anything obvious over here either. Just a whole lot of leaves. There's a puzzle down there. I think, oh, that's the one with the laser that we did. All right, then back down to the hedges. Oh, God. 
Do you guys, do you hear it? I thought it was going to be like white flowers or something. I was like, oh, there's white flowers here. Maybe there's like flowers to follow, but this is gentle soft sand. And that's sludgy crunchy. So, was it this? Was it this? Was it this? Do I want sand or do I want crunch? I think I want sand, right? So, right and upwards. Then when we get stopped by a block, we go right around the top of the L and under. That'll do it. All right, one more. One more hedge maze. Except I can't see or hear anything particularly pertinent. Can you? There's like a slight reddishness, but that seems too vague. That's a dead end. Maybe it doesn't matter which way I go, it just worries about the way I had been. So if I went... Does this map match this? Or is there something different about it? Because there's a hedge here that is blocked on there. You can't go straight forwards. So if you have to go right until you stop, and then you have to go forwards until you stop. I don't think this is going to work, is it? That's just taking me in a circle. I think it's... something about what's missing and what's not. I wish I could see it from above. But... I think that is... less available to me right now. Back through here. Nothing. There's a bunch of cracks and sticks under these trees, but that seems fairly random at the moment. But we can't go that way. That way is not valid. Unless it's backwards or something. We start in the lower left corner, though, which is where that starts. And come right across and then up. And then right around the equal sign piece. Forwards and left. Okay. We got there in the end, I guess. I don't know if that's the least intuitive or most intuitive of the mazes, because I feel like I only managed to do it through intuition. Big, creepy tower. 
Everyone loves a big creepy tower. Do you have secrets? Can't, I can't, like, do that. Alright, there is a puzzle we can't do here yet. There is plenty of puzzling to be done down here. They look like mazes in their own right, don't they? And then we have this maze. Oh, geez, that's a maze that matches the four mazes below, isn't it? Starting from where we came in in the center. All right, well, we're at a half hour, so I will ponder this one next time. For now, thank you ever so much for joining me on this journey through The Witness. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. If you're enjoying the videos, please hit that like button, let me know, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.